Hello Vikings and welcome back to another Assassin's Creed Valhalla video. In this episode we are gonna take a look how I was managed to do over 20,000 damage and thanks to Andy Reloads who gave me this intro and also my outro for this video so huge shout out to you my brother. Also his channel link will be in the description box down below so be sure to check him out. And yes this will be a little bit longer video than usually, but hopefully that is fine, this is high damage build. And I just wanted to see how much damage I can actually make in Valhalla. As you can see, there we go, almost 13,000, here 11,000, and on this guy we are getting almost 17,000. But that is not the max I did get, and of course before you are asking anything, we need to crit and the amount of crit, well, it can vary, so depending where you hit and of course, yeah, luck is needed. We are gonna take a look of the gear I used a little bit later on this video and my highest damage was on the dummies, but we will go through that and more a little bit later, so just have patience. Not right now. As you already might noticed earlier in this video, my mastery points are way above 100 and of course I'm max level so 466. So that is actually helping and many has asked me about the changes on the level and the damage and I think it's starting to matter right now what level you are and on your mastery points how many you have, so that is actually a good thing from update 1.3.2. So here we had the gear set up 1.0 and we are getting our gear set up 2.0 in a little bit later, but yeah, basically 100 build. Of course I could make a little bit more damage if I just had enough runes for range damage and critical damage, but getting over 7000 and plus 20,000 crits, that is still amazing in my opinion. Also I wanted to include this assassination in the video, because this was just too funny to leave out. The guy is just minding his own business and I don't actually think he's even seeing Eivor. He's looking at us, but yeah, nothing is happening. Even when we shoot the bow, he kind of startled and, well, that was his mistake. So, boom. This will be almost 4000 crit and horse was like, no. But thankfully, we did miss that one. But let's go to Rykjafylke in Norway. So basically, the starting point of this whole thing. And if you really want to test your hunter builds, this would be the perfect spot for you. You can stack up your arrows really fast. The dummies, they are not moving, so you can try different bows, different setups. And this place is just amazing for that one. Unfortunately, these dummies, they won't count towards our weekly Ubisoft Connect challenges, but this is fun either way. The next thing will be helpful everywhere and also huge shout out to Smortless Gaming who originally showed this tactic to stack up your arrows really fast when you are in control of your longship. Just shoot one place multiple times after that, go to the spot and boom, you can fill your arrows for free. Just a quickly reminder, if you have already liked this video so far, please leave a like, leave a comment. And now to the gear, I think this is the part you have been waiting for, so let's go. Originally I was using Nordensark as my bow, and on the weapons I was using Gangnir and Fruit Spear. After that I did change them to highest attack stats sites, and for my biggest damage I did choose this Sagittarius bow with critical damage, headshot damage and increasing attack 
the further you are from your enemy, so expert range rune. On the main hand, we are having Gladiat Sight, but what comes to the armor? We have two pieces from Dublin Champion set and two pieces from Huntsman armor. So let's test the bow. It doesn't look great, just over 1000 damage. So I think we need to fix our gear a little bit more. And yeah, the perks from this Dublin Champion set is for the dual set bonus, increase to range damage and stealth damage. And I think this is counting towards both when we are actually not seen. So of course I could change the resistance runes on these armor pieces to stealth damage, range damage or critical damage to increase our damage input overall. But, but I leave that one for you to let me know in the comments what will be your highest damage and what has been your highest damage so far. So let's change to our original bow, the Noden's Arc. Increase attack further you are from your enemy. And I did put increase range damage the heavier you are. Of course the speed runes doesn't matter for this. Could be better with attack runes or crit damage runes. But it is what it is. And like I said, I leave that one for you. And the second side on our left hand is side of tribulation, Dublin champion praisers, and yeah, some why I had druidic praisers. So we are gonna get a little bit heavier praisers on this one, in order to max out our damage and activate or getting more out of the Noden's Ark rune that we just put in. Also, let me know if you have any ideas what I could do different in this set or what gear pieces would you use in order to make high damage with your bow or even with your melee weapons. Alright, so we are about to find the heavy bracers and of course we need to socket one rune. I will keep those stealth runes on it, so let's stack up one more. Or I will unsocket the Great Hunter rune in order to make our range damage a little bit bigger. Also, we have the Huntsman helm and two set bonus from that set increase range damage when hitting enemies further than 20 meters away. So that is actually pretty, pretty awesome perk in my opinion combined with the Dublin. Stealth and range damage increase. One thing that needs to be changed or could use a little bit more like fixing up is this rune layout. Ubisoft did actually make this a little bit better, but as you can see this navigating through the runes is just awful. I actually would like succession as an option sh by sorting by, so for example when you are at your gear, it would offer you like damage, armor, resistance, etc. But yeah, that is way too slow when you are trying to socket everything. All right, so we have our gear or armor and weapons. So now let's go to the options and yes, this is needed, so combat difficulty to easy and level scaling off in order to make your enemies weak and also the level scaling. So, for example, you can feel the enemies there will be level one as the maps will say. So, this is must 
in order to make the high damage. Yeah, I know this is not exciting. So before you go ballistic in the comment section, I know this is not ideal. This was for testing how much damage is possible to do in Assassin's Creed Valhalla. Boom, over 3000. And here, boom, over 20,000. And that is not our best, but still that was really, really cool. So let's kill targets. And the moment everybody has been waiting for. Boom, almost 21,000. But for now, Vikings, thanks for watching. Hopefully you did enjoy this video. If you did, hit the like, hit the sub. Also have fun, stay safe, be strong. Hope to see you in the next one. Have a good one. Skata, over and out. And bye bye.